Hello, hello, hello. This is literally my third time recording this intro, so give me a break. Um, today we will be installing a Amazon wig for the first time. Um, this is a 13 by 4 HD lace. It is actually 150%. So you'll see me going in with an extra bundle, which I regret, but it is okay. So yeah. HD lace, like I said, and the HD was HDing. Um, it was about $160 after tax. This is not sponsored nor promoted. I just wanted to try something new, but I definitely saved like about $300 rather than going to a seller site directly. But anyway, starting off the video, I'm going in with my Gatsby hairspray and I'm just pulling all those hairs back. So touching back on that thin part, um, a lot of reviews said it was pretty thin even if they did get a shorter length. Obviously I got 28 inches so I was definitely going to need it but um, the bundle that I did get, <laughs> yeah, um, I actually took that off my Amazon storefront because no, absolutely not. It was definitely synthetic. It, mm, <laughs> I mean, I, I work my magic, don't get me wrong, but eventually when I take off this wig, I'm going to replace it with a better bundle. I mean, I spent, I think, about $60 on it, so, you know, yeah, just know that's coming out of my head soon. <laughs> but as far as sewing it on, um, I did two tracks in two rows, and yeah, that's about it. I'm going to just speed through that process. And also, if it looks like I'm tussling with this wig head, I am. Trust me, I am. Um, <laughs> I didn't buy the actual mannequin tripod. Um, when I bought this mannequin, it only came with the attachment for um, your table. But I still made it work. So the camera ended up dying after this little part um, of me sewing the second track up there. But, you know, it wasn't much. I was just finishing sewing. So after that, I will go ahead and get into the bleaching part. So I did mark off the middle part but um obviously i'm about to bleach it and wash out the bleach so it backfired but yeah so i just wanted to put that in there actually before i started doing the bleaching process i cut out the two combs on the side they didn't have one in the middle, so that was less stress for me. And I will say, they had those combs pretty tight on that wig. I mean, I was scared that I was cutting off the lace, but no, you know, it, it's good. It, it worked out in the end. 
so for the bleaching process i'm using bw2 powder and 40 volume developer i know what you're thinking girl you're out of your mind but one i know what i'm doing two it works three i don't got time to be waiting for this bleach to settle as far as the thickness of my bleach mixture i don't like mine's too thick because i want it to be able to penetrate the knots not a lot of people be like make it thick make it thick don't mm -mm, not me i need it to actually get in there and plus i'd rather have my knots over bleach than under bleach because i don't want to sit for another 30 minutes to wait for this bleach to process no i'm not doing that so might as well go higher and you know don't have to go back in and do another bleach process So once you're finished applying your bleach, you want to get your Reynolds wrap and you want to put the shiniest side down onto the um, lace. Now you don't want to press it into the lace, you just kind of want to cup it. Like you know how you deep condition your hair and you don't like press the plastic bag on your head, you just let it kind of trap the air, that's what you want to do. And I left mine on for 30 minutes and as you can see, we just about to wash it out. So for this wig, I specifically wanted to try out a widow's peak. Like, obviously I have a natural one. It's there. It's there. Whether you say it's there or not. It's there. But anyway, I'm just going in, taking my time, plucking. Whether it's for the widow's peak or just, you know, the hairline, take your time still. But as you can see, it's just a slight widow's peak. It's nothing too dramatic. So I'm going to start parting out space for the baby hairs. I didn't do it during this video, but just in case I decide to do it while I'm wearing the wig, I'll have enough hair for it. That's why I don't start plucking directly from the hairline all the way to the back. Also, I only take about three to four sections back and then, you know, I move back to the front. I don't take it all the way to the tracks. That's too much work. Who was doing that? Not me. But anyway, I'm going to zoom in in just a second because it might look like it's not plucked enough, like from afar. But trust me, it, it looks great to me. Obviously, I'm, I'm plucking for my liking.
so the sides of the wig are where most of the over bleaching is but um i'm gonna start you know plucking and then i'll go back in and fix the over bleaching sections So this is the um, little hair dye gel that I was talking about, um, I believe it's actually discontinued. Um, I bought it last March and I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was in the clearance section, it was like $3 so I was like, let me just you know snatch this up. But um, I just recently tried to find it, cause it's not like I'm running out, but I just recently tried to find it on Amazon. and. It wasn't up there so it actually might be discontinued but if you find it on another website you know hit your girl up okay but I'm really just dipping my comb in there and then combing it in kind of sideways and you see yeah that that fixed it right up So right now we're getting into doing our middle part. Um, yeah, I just go into the center of that widow's peak and then find the center of that back track, that middle track. And yeah, so taking my wax stick and my hot comb and we're going to get straight into it. So when I'm plucking my um, middle part. This is sped up by like, I think it's on like a two times speed, but still taking my time on a middle part, for some reason, I always end up making a tear in the lace. Even though I'm taking my time, not rushing, it always ends up making like a little small tear. Nothing like noticeable, but I know it's there. So yeah, but it's, it's pretty straight. So um, I'm not, I'm not too mad. I'm not too mad. And after I'm done plucking that middle part, I go in with my spoolie and that same um, black hair gel and I'm just combing in those over bleached knots just a little bit. I don't like my part too, like, I don't like a really sharp and defined middle part. Like, absolutely not, no. I'm so sick and tired of those black sprays because look, look how natural that looks. I really ate that, I ate that. Scrum dilly yum yum a purr purr. So now we're moving into our ball cap method. So I got this 20 pack of ball caps with an elastic band for like under $10 on Amazon with next day shipping. So that's on my Amazon storefront. You might want to cop that. But anyway, going in with my Ruby Kisses cream foundation, you know, the one that everybody uses. I'm in the shade 12 and I'm also using the darkest shade on my hairline and my middle part and then I kind of mix the two for the sides. So when it comes to melting my ball cap, I go in with the most thin layer of glue because I'm, I'm just trying to melt it. So going with small dots using my finger to um you know rub it in and then i go back in on some parts just to add a little bit more glue if i feel like it's not late enough not necessarily a second layer but just a little bit more and then i use my free spray to just you know kind of melt it just a little bit more
and as you can see that cap is melted obviously i'm gonna go back in with my ruby kisses to do the edges but it's is melted yeah yeah Y'all, when I say I was so geeked when I put this wig on and I saw how good this looked, like I was I was in disbelief. This is this is from Amazon. It was 160, like yeah, yeah, exactly. She gets it. But anyway, for the ear tabs, I cut from the back. It was the fact that I was really spending three, four hundred dollars on wigs from retailers' websites, and I could have been paying 160 for like you know three but anyway cutting off the ear tabs from the back and as i glue them down i will cut the rest go on in with the guide use guides they're going to help you out later and as far as the glue application i actually change it up just a little bit i'm doing a line of glue and then i'll use my razor just to spread it out and then obviously i'm going back in because i need a little bit more but yeah it the application is a lot better than you know just using those dots of glue because a lot of the times you could put too much so if you are putting too much you could just bring it down from the sides so i did three layers um of course making sure it's completely dry i'm going in between each layer and then i'm just playing connect the dots and i'll use my comb to really press that lace into the wig like taking my time making sure it's pressed in there and then i'll go in with my got to be hairspray in just a moment to make sure it's secured and then i'll use my elastic band for about five to ten minutes i usually not even usually i don't time myself i just go with the flow Another pro tip that I actually mentioned in my last video, and I'm going to keep mentioning it, work in sections. Sections are your best friend. We love sections. That's why we work in sections. It, it's, just listen to me. Listen to me. But anyway, I'm going in with too much glue on this side, but I ended up fixing it. You know, it is what it is. We still mess up, even the most professional people. So I did pull the lace up a little bit further than where I did my guidelines. It, it just looks better, you know, I know my hairline, I know it would have looked weird if I put it that far back, only you know your hairline the best. And also you'll see right about here, I am, you know, cutting the ear tabs just a little bit more. I did end up cutting it more at the end. I know this is off topic, but look how much my skin is clearing up. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, okay, okay. After letting that elastic band sit, I'm going back in with my Artie Kisses um, and foundation brush to tint the top of the lace. And then going in with my razor, taking my very, very sweet time and going in by fours i start from the middle go to the right and then start from the middle again and then go to the left just taking my time making sure that is the freshest cut possible
you can already see the difference that the makeup is making while tinting the top of the lace. But anyway, I'm gonna go in with my small eyebrow brush and with the foundation, just going back in, cleaning up as much as possible, and then I'll melt it with my Fantasia hairspray. And just look, like, even before melting, like, yeah, yeah. So while that's cooking, we'll move on to styling. I'm just going to straighten it. But before I straighten it, I'm going to stand up and show you the length of it. I usually get like 26 inches and curly and it's looking like about the same length. So I was like, mm, mm, mm. but um, I ended up straightening it still and I stood back up towards the end of the video and you'll see that, um, you know, it, it was, it was starting to look like 20 inches cause I was concerned, but look at that melt. For $160? My goodness. I'm so disappointed in myself. Like, I feel like I wasted so much money. Moving on to one of my favorite parts is some layers. Layers is always going to bring out the best in a wig. It's going to make you look the most natural. So I'm taking my eyebrow razor and just cutting downwards. I know most people use scissors and shears. I feel like it just cuts too blunt for me. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. Either way, I know my razor never fails me. So take my time going in two sections in the front on both sides. Oh my goodness, I ate so bad. I mean, obviously I'm going with my hot comb, you know, straightening up a little bit, but like, my goodness, I don't know if I should give myself credit or the wig, but I'm gonna give myself credit <laughs> just cause, but yeah, I, this ate so bad. I do wish that I dyed it jet black, but it is what it is. I don't care. I don't care. It, it came out real nice like yeah yeah i literally didn't have any problems with this wig it was just a bundle that synthetic bundle i should slap them but it's okay but yeah that's about it so i'm gonna let my outro do its thing and i will see y'all next friday thank you so much for watching Mwah. see you next friday I'm really big on energy and I'm really big on how men deal with me and handle me. I've always thought, like, I don't want to ever be in this. Alright, so. This is the finished product. Um, let me, let me search up the details of this because 150%. Um, I'm glad I added another bundle because if I didn't, um, yeah, I would have been, yeah. I will say that either this is a blend or the bundle that I put in was a blend because something was burning inside of my flat iron because you can see, I'm not trying to touch it because it's still hot, but this is like some type of glue and then this is a piece of the hair. Like, I've had synthetic wigs before, and this, this, this is it. Because it's all crinkly and, like, melted, basically. So, I, I know, I know. But I have a good feeling that it was the bundle and not the actual wig. I'm still glad I added it, because, yeah. This wig was how much? 
so yeah i did pay full price it was 159 and then after taxes and stuff it was 168 but i feel like for 28 inches i'd literally be paying at least 400 dollars and i'd still have to wait like a week at least for shipping and i got this next day yeah yeah i need to stop sleeping on amazon wigs i bought another one which will be probably my next video if i don't film anything else now this one had like the 30 dollar off coupon i think she's 20 inches oh she's red red okay she has lots of highlights and yeah. Oh, and she comes with an elastic band and the combs in the back and on the side. Oh yeah, yeah. I tried to put it on, but it's just not working anyway. And it's a full frontal. My goodness. It's I really gotta stop. I gotta stop again next day shipping. And then the extra bundle I think was sixty yeah, sixty dollars even. This red wig. Yeah, that had the thirty dollar off coupon. It was one forty, then the thirty dollars, and then plus tax was one sixteen. But either way, expect more Amazon wigs and less you know, regular brands. Cause yeah i'm i'm not going back i probably won't it they're here to stay but anyway thank you for watching please like and subscribe and you know leave any video recommendations but other than that i have to go to sleep it is 1 42 i gotta be up at five to get ready for work at seven yeah but i started um bleaching this wig around 10 so it's been four hours so that's bleaching toning and installing and braiding down my hair we're getting there we're getting there but anyway i'm not going to keep you thank you for watching hey, with that